For our project, we will be creating low-poly animals inspired by the artist Allison Kuna. Low-poly design is created with a triangular grid, usually used for computer and digital graphics. You might notice this sort of structure when playing video games or using a Snapchat filter. To begin this project, find a profile view of an animal of your choice. When choosing a picture, make sure it's a real photograph of an animal and that the entire animal is visible in the picture frame. I'm going to be using the Lightbox Trace app to transfer my image onto my drawing paper. When drawing, zoom in your photo so your animal takes up most of your screen. When tracing, press lightly and add outlines around features like the eyes, the ears, the legs, and the tail. Once you have traced your image, you may need to re-outline different areas to make sure they are clear and visible. Next, you can see I'm adding a circle of watercolor in the background. It's important to do this step now so you don't smudge your pencil and pen marks later on. This step is best done with watercolors, but you can see here I'm using watercolor pencils. You may also want to layer this a couple times to get it right. The next step is to trace your pencil marks with pen. Make sure your paper is completely dry before you start. Take your time on this step and draw really neatly. Now I'm beginning to add my triangles. Make sure you use some sort of straight edge for the rest of the assignment. Start this step in pencil in case you need to erase and fix certain areas later on. When making your triangles, take a look at the different sections of your picture. Areas with more shadow will look best when represented with smaller triangles. The lighter parts of your picture can use larger triangle shapes. Look at the time-lapse video to see how this step is done. Here are the different sections of my project. You can see that some of the smaller areas use smaller triangles and the larger areas, which might be a little bit lighter in my photograph, use bigger triangles. The last step is to add horizontal, vertical, or diagonal lines inside of your triangles. The darker areas should be represented with more lines and the lighter areas will have fewer lines. During this process, I suggest varying the direction of your lines so that you do not have triangles with lines going in the same direction next to each other. For example, one triangle may have lines going vertically and the triangle next to it may have lines going diagonally. Check out the rest of my time lapse to see my work on adding these lines to my artwork.
And there you go. Now you have a low poly inspired animal by using shapes and lines.